So this is what your blood flow is like after drinking different beverages. So we have four slides here. The one on the left is your blood picture or how your blood flows after 10 minutes of waking up. Then the next one after that on the right of it is 10 minutes after drinking coffee. The next slide beside that is 10 minutes after drinking Dasani water, which is a type of filtered water. And the last one on the right is 10 minutes after drinking Kangen water. Just look at the speed of your blood flow after drinking Kangen water. And from the beginning, we could see the magnification was 10 times, then jumping to 20 times magnification, then 40 times magnification, and finally this one is 60 times magnification. So this is your blood after drinking Kangen water. Compare the difference. On your left, you see 10 minutes after waking up. That's your blood picture 10 minutes after waking up. Look how completely sticky the cells are. Look how they're so stuck together. Your blood cells should be circulating and moving at a very fast speed because any stickiness can lend to blood clots and then the ultimate result of that is a heart attack or a stroke. So that's the very obvious thing that you can expect when blood is so stuck together. So the ideal thing is to never have blood cells sticking together. So 10 minutes after waking up is the one on the most left. The next slide next to that is 10 minutes after drinking coffee and the third slide from the left is 10 minutes after drinking reverse osmosis water which is Dasani. Dasani um, represents all filtered water. It's 10 minutes after drinking Kangen water on the right. So you make up your own mind as to what blood uh, picture you would like to have in your life would you like your blood cells to be really sticky together so that you will have a higher propensity to blood clots and therefore heart attacks and strokes or would you like to have blood cells that beautifully run like a very very um, well orchestrated traffic there's no um congestion and there is just no slowing down and that's what you want for your blood cells. So you want your blood flow to be much like a healthy river. A healthy river is a river that has water that is flowing constantly and at a good speed. If the river was to slow down or became stagnant and lacking in any movement, it absolutely breeds diseases. So too with your blood. You want your blood flow to be at a constant speed and it is of a good flow. And if you were to have your blood cells slowing down, what will happen is there will be a likelihood of clots happening as a result of that. And when clots happen, we know there's a higher chance of strokes and heart attacks. But on top of that, we know that the role of blood is two things. Number one, it delivers nutrients into the cells and it also removes wastes out of the cells. So if blood flow was not a good speed and not a good continuous flow, it means that delivery of nutrients and oxygen to the cells are inefficient and the cells will suffer. And at the same time, as the blood leaves the cells, it's going to remove wastes and toxins out of the cells. If the blood flow was slow, it will remove wastes and toxins inefficiently and the cells will suffer. This is my blood cells right now. So I just woke up, right? I just woke up. 
I didn't drink water last night because I knew I was gonna do this video today so I wanted to be you know the regular person that doesn't drink as much water um, before they go to sleep so right now we're at 10 times zoom and you can see that my blood cells are really 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 not moving at all <laughs> they're not moving um, which means that you know I'm really dehydrated and this is how my blood is right now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on to 20 times and you can see how my blood you can see my blood cells individually but they're stuck together and not moving guys and this is what happens for most of you guys that do not drink water and when you wake up um, what are you doing when you're waking up what are you putting inside your body when are you waking up this is really important guys as you can see mine is really really still um, wow guys let's go let's go to 40 times soon again guys it is crazy you can see them but they're not moving at all they're kind of moving I can see them kind of moving now but they're you know they're not they're not moving like they should be so now let's go to 60 times and there it is guys you I mean you can see them like barely barely moving but you know they're, they should be like moving they should be all over the place and <laughs> It's crazy. So, I'm going to be doing what most people do every single morning, and that is drink a cup of coffee. Um, and I put um, almond creamer in here, and no sugar. So, it's been 10 minutes since I drank 12 ounces of cup of coffee with almond creamer. Okay, so, I'm going to be testing my blood again. Right now, we are looking at my blood 10 times soon. Um, they are moving a lot more than they were. Um, which is good, which is a good thing, right? Um, but you can see that they're still getting stuck to each other and that's because the, the blood cells are not surrounded with a negative charge around them to bounce off each other. So I'm gonna, let's go to 20 times soon and see if we can see any closer. And uh, yeah, as you can see how the cells are forming um, lines, they kind of look like coins stacking stacking up with each other so let's go to 40 times soon um, and as you can see the blood cells are still moving a little bit but you can still see how they're still stacking up with each other and you know that's not a good sign uh, so let's go to 60 times what you want to see is every blood cell individually and bouncing off each other and just moving all over the place obviously right now it is moving more than it was um, but it's still stacking up with each other and it's not moving as fast. So now I'm gonna be uh, drinking bottled water and I'm gonna be seeing what happens uh, within 10 minutes of drinking bottled water. So I got freaking Dasani here. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this. I haven't drank bottled water in a long time. So I guess we're gonna see how it tastes. So I'm gonna be uh, drinking 12 ounces of Dasani water. That is 12 ounces right there, so cheers, or I don't know about that. <laughs> and it's been 10 minutes since I drank 12 ounces of Dasani water, yeah I know. But let's go ahead and see what effects had in my blood. Boom! Let's do it again baby, woo! <laughs> you can see the blood cells moving, uh, this is a 10 times zoom, and um, to be honest, you can um, see the little blood cells has separated a little bit. This is at 20 times zoom. And yes, my blood cells has separated a little bit. Um, but you cannot see them moving as they should be, right? So at least we don't see the, uh, the coin stack formation anymore. And um, at least we see some separation. But I want to see more movement. So let's go at 40 times zoom. Alright, that's 40 times zoom. And let's go to 60 times soon. All right, all right, guys. So this is a 60 times soon. Um, as you can tell, the blood cells are individually, um, but you can see some of them are still stuck to each other um, and not moving um, much. So now this is the good part, and this is where I get really excited, and that is drinking 12 ounces of Kangen water. So let, I'm gonna go ahead to my machine, uh, get 12 ounces, and see what happens after 10 minutes. Alright guys, so here's my Kanga machine and let's get some 
and I got my measuring cup just in case there's some skeptics uh, out there saying oh you know he drank more than 12 ounces what what whatever um, so let's go and see 12 ounces just under 12 ounces and you can see the hydrogen in the water so let's go ahead and pour it in this cup there you can see the hydrogen in the water that is beautiful that is beautiful guys that is why you want to be drinking every single day and that's why they say drink the cloud <laughs> alright guys so I have 12 ounces of Kangen water 9.5 pH water and I'm about to chug this and we're gonna be seeing the results after 10 minutes <sighs> now wow you can really really tell the difference <laughs> between Kangen water and, and this stuff I mean you really can't compare that's like comparing Bud Light to an Estella you really can't compare that um, but let's just wait 10 minutes and see what happens alright guys so it's been 10 minutes since I drank 12 ounces of Kangen water so let's go and poke myself again <laughs> Alright guys, so this is a 10 times zoom and I can clearly see more cells moving around. Not as much as I would like to, but um, just keep in mind that I, drink, I did drink coffee and I did drink Dasani and both of those beverages are really, really acidic, full of protons, so it doesn't help my blood uh, at all. Um, so let's go at 20 times zoom and you can see that the cells are you know moving uh, more than the previous test so let's go in at 40 times soon you can clearly see the difference in your blood cells after drinking kangen water and this is why I wanted to do this video um, let's go at 60 times this is the main reason why I made the investment into the microscope you know because I wanted to show you guys the power behind hydrogen water you know so it's, it's one thing me telling you what this water does but it's another thing actually seeing what it does inside your body. This information is crucial and I think everybody deserves to know this information.